Michelle from Crafters Countdown. Thank you so much for joining me. We are here today to work on some more rocks for the Kindness Rock Project, and this time we're focusing on Father's Day. So what we've done is we've prepared several rocks here for painting and um, preparing. I'm going to show you some techniques. If you don't know how to do this, then you can check out our video from last month where we did the process of preparing your rocks and painting your rocks and finishing your rocks for our Mother's Day shoot that we did. But today I'd like to focus on all of you who say, I can't do the Kindness Rock Project because I can't paint or I can't draw. We're going to show you some techniques here that will give you options for different ways to put really great images on your rocks. So one of the easiest things that people do are buy some really fun and decorative napkins and applique directly onto your rock with the napkin images. So we're going to start with that. Let me get these open. I thought these little emoji napkins were really cute and that they would make a fun rock to say my dad is so cool or something like that with this little image. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and cut out the image on whatever napkin it is you're going to be using to put on your rock that you've already prepared. images cut out. We take out our trusty Mod Podge and a paintbrush. Put a little bit of Mod Podge onto your rock first. I like to pick up the image with my paintbrush and then put a little bit of Mod Podge on over it. And you want to give it a little bit of pressure so that you get those wrinkles out of there. Okay, so we'll set this aside and let it dry. And then don't forget to rinse out your brush right away. So you want to keep them in really good shape. And one of the best ways to do that, if you want to use it again for painting, is to make sure that while the Mod Podge is still wet on there, that you're rinsing out your brushes. All right, so another technique that is good for those of us who feel like we're artistically challenged and don't want to paint directly on the rocks is you can find these stencils. I got this one at a yard sale for like 10 cents. It was really inexpensive. They have them in the craft stores. You can also make them yourself because they do sell the plastic sheets that you can cut out if you have an idea of a stencil you'd like. If you're going to make a, a lot of the same rock, you want a really good stencil for that. All you do for a stencil is you take your prepared rock and you place the stencil on it. Make sure that you've chosen something that fits and then a regular pencil and you go ahead and just trace inside of your image. Okay, and now that we have the image traced, we simply take one of the markers or acrylic paints and we can paint that in and write Happy Father's Day or something on there, whatever you want your message to be.
Another technique that works really great for those of us who are artistically challenged is to use some graphite paper and find an image that you like and go ahead and trace it. Now, graphite paper is similar to carbon paper, but a little bit different. With the carbon paper, one of the challenges you'll have is that while you're tracing your image, where your hand rubs up against it could end up smudging onto your rock and then you just need to wash it when you're finished. Um, the graphite paper is usually in the artist's section and it's a little bit easier, doesn't smudge quite so badly. So. Find an image that you really like, that you're allowed to use, and get your rock ready. You also want to make sure that your pencil isn't too terribly pointy, simply because it could tear your paper as you're tracing around it, especially if your rock's misshapen a little bit or has some pith marks in it. So you want to make sure that you've got a, a good pencil, but not one that's too terribly sharp. I've gone ahead and traced around the guitar image. Now a couple of things to keep in mind are to make sure you start at one end and work your way to the other. So as I did, I kind of went around the outside and then I started at one end with the inside of the guitar and worked my way that way. That way I make sure that I don't miss anything. And then also just to be sure, you may have seen I lifted up and checked one little corner before I went ahead and completely took that off because lining it back up again is almost impossible. So you want to make sure that you're really careful to make sure you've got everything there. But you know what, if you miss something, that's okay because remember there are no mistakes. There are only creative opportunities. And you can either just simply paint it in while looking at the picture, do your best with your hand, or leave it off or change it into something else. You've got lots of options there. So I'm going to go ahead and take the guitar and chili peppers. I'll get these painted so I can show you. All right, so we finished painting these. Um, my cousin Colleen did this one and she went ahead and used a sponge technique around here. Now you want to make sure that you subscribe. So hit that subscribe button because next month when we do some patriotic rocks, I'm going to teach you how to do different varied techniques with creating a lot of color on your rocks. So you'll want to see that. And then I went ahead and did a little bit of sponging on this one also because my dad rocks. All right, I want to show you a couple more techniques, so give me just a second to put these away. All right, so I showed you earlier how to do the applique with the napkin technique. Well, a napkin is basically a piece of tissue paper. Now, maybe you've got a design you'd like to do, but you certainly can't find any napkins with the exact picture that you want to do. So there's a technique that you can do to create your own image on tissue paper. Now, tissue paper is really soft and it tears very easily. So the first thing that you want to do is get some spray adhesive that is repositionable. That's really important um, to make sure that you're able to take that off. Another option that some people will do is use tape and they'll tape that um, they'll tape their tissue paper onto the computer paper before you put it through the printer. So I'm going to take this outside along with some um, a piece of tissue paper and a piece of computer paper, spray it down, adhere it, and then run it through the printer. I'll show you all of those steps, and then we'll come back here and get those onto our rocks. It is important to cut the tissue paper to fit the computer paper before you attach it because you'll want to have them glued together for as little time as possible. Trim all of the edges so that you don't jam your printer. You want to spray outside to protect your lungs and to keep your home from getting sticky from the overspray. A very light coat all over the paper is all you need. Then adhere your tissue paper to the computer paper sheet, being sure to smooth out as many wrinkles as possible. Then place it into your printer, making sure you have the tissue paper in the correct position for your printer to print on that side of the sheet. 
You do not need to reverse this image, just print it as you normally would. Carefully peel your tissue paper off of the computer page. That sheet is great to use over and over again, not just for earth kindness, but because the glue buildup makes it easier to both stick and remove. Just like the napkins, trim around each image as close to the image as possible so that you don't get wrinkly excess around it on your rock. It is delicate, so you want to be very careful. All right, so I've cut out some of the images that we've printed, and here's the Father's Day and Happy Father's Day on the... Um, the tissue paper that I showed you. Now, this one, I accidentally tore it. So when I Mod Podge it onto the rock, I'm going to show you how you can really sneaky put this back on there. And you'll never be able to tell because you just line it up and with the Mod Podge on top, it glues it right back together for you. So let's get these adhered. Colleen showed me a great trick to help get the wrinkles out of appliqued pieces. Place your image face down onto a piece of plastic wrap, then Mod Podge around the edges of the tissue. Just a light coat. <laughs> Be careful not to get your fingers stuck. Then, flip the plastic wrap over onto your rock. You can then rub the edges and smooth them down and you're less likely to tear your delicate napkin or tissue paper. You're able to feel through the wrap and you can put a little more pressure on it than if it were directly on the tissue. And then a light coat on top. You can always apply multiple coats, but keep that first one light so you don't tear your paper. All right, so one last technique that I'd like to show you this time is the laser transfer technique. Now, the reason it's called that is because you need to make sure that you have your image done by a laser printer. I went ahead and went to one of the office stores in my area and got the image that I wanted. This one I'm making as a gift for someone, so um, I didn't put the label on the back, but the rock is prepared with its top coat, and then um, I can write a loving message on the back because this one's for my brother. I've cut out a picture, and um, this is a little bit of a lengthy process, and you want to be careful, but all you need is the laser print that you want, your rock, it's best to go ahead and put a coat of white down so that your image shows up really well. And we're going to treat this just like we did the appliques. So we're going to go ahead and put some Mod Podge on here. Make sure that we get a good coat of this so that it sticks really well. Now, your picture, because it's on regular paper, is not going to um, have as much soaking through, so you want to make sure that you put a really good coat on before you set your image on here. All right, so I've got my Mod Podge, and then make sure it's right side up. Now, this is also something that if there's any kind of lettering or wording in here, you may want to make sure that you print it reverse image also so that um, things don't look strange or backwards when you get it onto your rock. We're going to place this on here. And then just like we did with the napkin, we'll use a piece of plastic wrap and go ahead and set that on there so that we don't get our fingers all sticky and um, 
sort of massage this down so that it sticks really well on all of the edges. Trying not to get the Mod Podge on the top of it because you don't want it to be sealed on the back of the paper. You only want it sealed between the rock and the image that you've printed. Okay, and we've got that down nice and tight. Now what you need to do is to remove the, the plastic wrap and then let set this aside for 24 hours. So I will put this aside and show you tomorrow how this can look. We have let this dry for 24 hours. It's a new day. And the next step is to get this wet. Now, I prefer to use a sponge. I've seen people use spray bottles. I've seen them just kind of splash some water on there. But what we're going to do is gently get some water on here. And then it's kind of like when little kids put those tattoos on, right? And then um, you can see that it starts to get darker in spots as the water soaks through that paper. Remember, we did not put Mod Podge on the top of the paper, only underneath it. So, and I've got a towel here to protect the desk. So as we get this a little bit soaked with water, then we're going to gently rub, very gently rub, and you can see that the paper is starting to slough off of here. So we will just keep giving this a gentle rub over the towel so that it doesn't make a mess. So if it starts to dry out, you can dip, you can dip this in the water and wipe away some of the sloughed material here. And there we have our finished Father's Day rock with the picture on it. Um, this will make a really nice gift for someone that's not one that I'm hiding somewhere. I hope you'll join us next month. We're going to do some skills with texturizing and pouring and showing you how to create some really great backgrounds. Um, I sponged around the edge of this just to give it some cohesion between the background and the picture on there. So we're going to show you some other ways that you can create these great looks. So join us next month for the 4th of July when we do something patriotic, okay? Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.